Microsoft just released Windows version 25H2 to developers and you guys are able to download it right now. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it right now on your computer, what's actually new and uh, some really cool features it actually offers. But before we dive in, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And if you guys need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description below. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, first, let me show you that I'm actually running here on Windows 25H2. As you can see here, Windows 25H2 is installed on my computer, and this is inside the Windows Insider Preview channel. Now, if you go here under the Windows Update, you guys can also go here and click on Windows Insider Program. Make sure that you guys select here the Developer Branch or even Canary Channel. Here I'm on developer channel and the update installed just fine. And right now it works flawlessly on my Windows 11 computer. But keep in mind that this update, so 25H2, isn't as major as the 24H2, for example. Now you can see here that this is basically an enabling package and it just bumps up the version 24H2 to version 25H2. So nothing much is actually brand new here in this release. However, I hope that this is just a middle update and the actual Windows 12 is coming soon, hopefully. So yeah, 20. 25H2 is here for Windows 11. Let me show you some new features. And one of them, which I find quite interesting, is if you go here to the start menu, you can search for the group policy editor. You can go here, edit group policy. And now Windows 25H2 added some really cool ways to remove bloatware from your Windows 11 installation. You can find this brand new setting inside the local group policy editor. However, I believe that this program is actually available only for Windows 11 Pro users. So if you are using Windows 11 Home, unfortunately, this isn't available to you. However, if you guys do have Windows 11 Pro, you guys will go here under the administrative templates and down below you will find Windows components. Double left click on them and here, make sure that you go under the app package deployment option and down below you'll find this brand new option, remove default Microsoft Store packages from the system. Now, if you double left click on this, you guys will see here this new setting. And if you click here on enabled, you guys will see which of the programs are actually enabled. For example, you guys can pretty much remove every single one of them here from your Windows 11 computer if you have Windows 11 25H2 installed. So pretty much you can just disable this, this, and then go down here and disable the weather as well. And down below pretty much disable all the Xbox services as well. Click on apply and you can pretty much right now click on okay. And it should right now just remove every single setting I just here disabled. So if I search for Xbox, you can see pretty much that there's no more applications here related on my computer about the Xbox. So I think that this is really cool addition here to the Windows 25 H2. And uh, as I mentioned, this is just a small update for Windows. So you will upgrade from basically from 24 H2 to version 25 H2. There's not so many of a differences on this release, but I think that the ones which are present are quite welcome. Also one thing which I noticed, I don't have here the brand new start menu. However, I think it's a server side switch. So it should be coming to my Windows 11 release quite soon. However, I noticed that this is the folders preview look very very nice and uh, you guys can pretty much see how you can add them here to the folder and this is the actual folder preview here and I also noticed here the actual charging indicator is now colored as well as it's showing the percentage however if you click here on the battery you guys can click here on the battery even further and you guys will be redirected here to this window settings page and you guys can also enable here battery percentage and it will always show here the battery inside the taskbar, which I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Now you guys can also go here under the energy recommendations and you guys can pretty much extend your battery life if you have a laptop. Now, if I go here to the start menu and lock my screen, you guys can also see here the battery indicator at the bottom right. You can see here the actual charging indicator, which I find quite cool. And if you guys are interested in the brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description 
description down below. And if you guys are enjoying this type of content, smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, Windows 25 H2 also has this new feature called show smaller taskbar buttons. So if you guys pretty much click here on always, you guys will see here this smaller version of the icons, which to be fair, I don't like as much as this one, which is regular icons. I think they look too small in my opinion. However, if this feature would, for example, shrink the taskbar as well as the buttons, I think it would look way cooler than this. Now, pretty much if you guys want to download and install this brand new version of Windows 11 25 H2 completely clean on your computer using ISO file, and then you can potentially put it to the USB stick, you guys will go here to uupdump.net where you will find the exact ISO file. You guys will just click here or either Canary channel or developer channel. Make sure to click here on developer and on top here you will find two brand new releases and you guys can see here when they were actually released. Pick an architecture, either x64 or ARM64, and pick one here, click on next here, and then next, and you guys will get this brand new file or download method. Pretty much click here, download and convert to ISO, and you will guys create download package. And then you guys will use, for example, the Rufus program to put it to your USB stick and install it completely clean on your computer. Now, as I mentioned in the intro of this video, this upgrade from 24H2 to version 25H2 isn't a very big update, just a minor updates here and there on your system. Pretty much what's actually most important here that hopefully this is the last update of Windows 11 and we will get Windows 12 very, very soon. And this is pretty much it. Windows 25 H2 is here inside the Canary and also developer channel. If you want to try it out, I will leave a link for the UUP dump in the video description down below, or you guys can just upgrade your computer using the insider channels. Now, with that said, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already liked this video as well, and check out this wallpaper in the video description down below. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you all around in the next one.